Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for, well, right around the 20th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. You know that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. What do we have for a message today? Queen of Cups. So it's going to be an emotional day. Queen of Cups. It's emotional, loving, warm, sensitive. Perhaps. Ooh, Five of Swords. Now that's a little bit different energy. That's a conflict, a power struggle of some sort. Death. Death. So I'm not sure if there's, you know... I don't know if we're dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, but we have this death card here. There's there's going to be some sort of battle. This is a separation, loss, grieving, profound change. So there's going to be a profound change. This is a this is an ending with a new beginning to follow. The battle is going to happen. Okay, this is a battle of some sort. It's a power struggle. Somebody's trying to prove something. This is the, the end of a situation. I mean, it's the death card. So yeah, we have an ending here of some sort. Some sort of loss, losing a battle. It's definitely going to be emotional. So, and somebody's walking away. You know, this is definitely a loss. So we do have a loss here. There's no doubt about it. about it so it's going to be an emotional loss as well defeated Ooh, eight of swords now this is prison uh, trapped confinement somebody is is in a, a place of confinement or they may be put into confinement somebody could end up in jail just saying you know I'm just saying this is I always think of this as my jail card I don't know why but this is some sort of mental conflict it's a it's a containment of some sort so this is the end of a battle it is it's the end of a battle Somebody has been restricted. They haven't been in a good place. There's been some lies because the Eight of Swords is about lies. You think of what comes before the Eight of Swords is the Seven of Swords. Deception, lies, thieving, dishonesty, betrayal. So yeah, there's been some sort of betrayal. Somebody has been not seeing it. They haven't been able to see it because they've been wearing a mask. Or, you know, a blindfold. But this is a profound change. So something is about to change. There's going to be some sort of battle by the looks of things. Woo! Comes out of nowhere. Nowhere. This is, this, the Knight of Wands reversed is... Very fast, extremely fast. This is somebody that is violent, that is overly competitive, that is forceful, you know, that is, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if this person has been in the military or what. This is somebody that is moving very, very fast, impulsive, you know, this is a troublemaker, rushing in very, very fast, coming out of nowhere. This per Somebody is coming out of nowhere. There could be a sudden departure as well or a sudden arrival. When you get the Knight of Wands reversed, this is a very sudden, uh, I was going to say sudden death, but a sudden ending, a sudden, you know, this is breaking free from somebody who hasn't been able to see something or they've been restricted, but this is a very sudden um, escape, needing to escape, you know, somebody's going to be escaping something 
they've been tied to a situation, but there's going to be, it feels like somebody is coming in very, very fast to break them free. Some Because death is about freedom. Hmm. We definitely have an ending here that leads to a new beginning. There's been some sort of deception. There's been some sort of betrayal. This has been a serious battle. <laughs> Could be dealing with a water sign. I gotta be honest with you. I mean, we have water here. We have, I mean, we have we have Scorpio twice. Okay, we have Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody who has no fear. We have a very fearless individual that um, has been restricted, and I feel like this person doesn't like the restrictions. Five of Swords. That is a battle, a serious battle. There, you know, and it could lead to death. Leads to some sort of ending. Put it that way. There's a battle that leads to an ending. It leads to change. At death is profound change. So yeah, there's going to be a change. Hmm. Ooh. Lovers reverse. Now this is the end of a contract. There's some consequences. There is some consequences here. Somebody's made a poor choice. They've made a poor decision. They've aligned themselves with somebody that they are not, that they shouldn't have. There's there's been some sort of misalignment. There's there's been some and there's a need to reevaluate. And I think there's been an inability to reevaluate because of the restrictions. Anyhow, this is the end of a contract. This is a separation, and this is a separation. So there's going to be some sort of separation, a detachment, and a conflict because there is disharmony. This is disharmony. Yeah. There's disharmony, and there's, there's going to be a battle. There's going to be a conflict. We have somebody rushing in out of nowhere, coming from behind. coming from behind just, just so you know anyhow um, fool fool is a new beginning stepping into unknown territory impulsive behavior we have some we have somebody here that uh, is going to be starting a new journey they're going to be starting a new journey because something that they have been tied to is coming to an end. Okay, this is the, something that they have been mentally conflicted about or they've been in a space of mental turmoil. They've been staying put be there for a reason or they've something has been unbalanced. They've been in this situation uh, probably because of fear or because of their own mentality. They couldn't find their courage or their strength or whatever to come clean and, and take care of themselves or something like that. Now that we have a new journey, we have a new beginning, starting from scratch, starting over. There's definitely going to be a new beginning here. This is an ending that leads to a new beginning. This is a new beginning as well. So we do have a new beginning that comes after an ending where somebody has been trapped in a partnership that is not compatible. Okay, it's not compatible. There's disharmony. There's going to be a separation and a loss on this day. And somebody, this is a departure. It is a departure. It is. They're going to be going their own way. This is definitely a separation. This is, you know... A conflict. A battle. A battle that ends. It's the battle. It, it's a battle that ends. Ends a contract. So, yeah. Death of a person or idea. I mean, that's what we got here. We have somebody that is fed up. They are fed up. 
and I feel like they are going to do something impulsive and they are very carefree, they're free spirited and they, you know, I don't feel like they don't want to be confined anymore, they don't want to be contained, you know, so they're going to do something in, in, impulsive. I do definitely see impulsive action being taken on this day. We have somebody here that is absolutely fearless. And you know, this this fearless individual, um, you know, when you get the Four of Swords, may have some, uh, you know, health issues. Maybe it's even mental health issues. We do have somebody here that has been isolated and they don't want to be isolated anymore. We have a spur of the moment uh, action being taken that causes the ending of a contract. I mean, that's what we have. There's definitely going to be a fight or there's going to be disharmony in a contract. Definitely. I mean that five of five of swords is this is non-negotiable. There's there's in, there's abuse. This is a hostile situation. You know the five of swords. I don't know. Could, you know that that that's that's bad news. I mean that that's threats. That's crime. That's somebody that has no morals. That has no conscience. That you know is only looking out for number one. That is exhausted and fed up. So I do believe that we have some people here that is exhausted and fed up. They're tired. They're tired of being contained. They're tired of being trapped. They're tired of living the life that they've been living. And they want a change. And I think because they want a change, they're willing to go after that change. And they're going to do something possibly foolish. Anyhow. I do, I do see a separation. There is no doubt about it. With an, there's a, there's an ending with a new beginning to follow. We have a, uh, well, this is somebody that is a show off, right? That does what doesn't stick around either. This is, this is somebody that, you know does what they got to do and they, they get the hell out of there. You know what I mean? This is somebody that is on a mission. So I do feel like we have a reckless individual that is out of control. This is a troublemaker that is violent and very forceful. This is somebody that is constantly on the move. And I feel like this person is 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 coming very, very fast. I feel like they are in... And they may definitely have some... You know, I gotta be honest. They could, they could, we could have somebody here that has some mental issues. Okay, they're in mental turmoil. They're, you know, just saying. I feel like this person is, uh, you know, has has some sort of agenda. Oh, oh boy. So yes, there's definitely going to be. Uh, movement, a sudden arrival, a sudden departure, assertiveness, some in a, somebody rushing in, throwing themselves into a situation, putting plans and actions. It definitely could be somebody with a military background, some, you know, that is, you know, on a mission. I was going to say on a mission, or maybe I did say it. If I didn't say it, it was I was thinking it. It's like we have somebody here that is putting a plan in action. Are they, you know, this is somebody that is angry. I believe, I feel like they're angry. We have somebody that is angry and I feel like they are on a mission and they don't care who they hurt. This is so, this is like a soldier. I feel like this is a warrior that is, it's like an attack. I feel like we have an attack of some sort. Um, I feel like they, this, this individual um, is making a move. Um... And then they're, and if and then it feels like they're gonna make a getaway. It feels like we have somebody here that's gonna do something. It feels like they're gonna do something, and then they're gonna make a getaway. You know, they're gonna make a getaway, and they're gonna get out quick. They're gonna get out really, really quick. They may even blend in. I feel like somebody may blend in. It, it, it may be, you know, it's a, it's. I think it's a very. Um, I 
I don't know. I feel like it's a very tricky situation. I feel like somebody is going to blend right in. It may be part, you know, what do you call that? The one that you least expect. Like the lover's reverse. It's somebody that you totally, totally don't expect. So I do believe that there is somebody that you totally don't expect that is coming in very, 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 very fast. Okay? And I feel like they are on a mission. And I feel like this person is very clever. They are very sharp. Uh, they um, have some sort of plan and they are about to take action on their plan. And there is no stopping this person. I feel like this person um, is fed up. Up. They are fed up with being tied down. They are fed up with being restricted. They are fed up with being confined. You know? <laughs> so yeah, we have the end of a, of a contract. Um, Somebody is taking, taking it into their own hands. Whatever that means, taking something into their own hands. And they don't have any fear. This is a fearless individual. So we have a fearless individual that is rushing in and and doing something that uh, what are they doing? Stopping something from happening. They're gonna put the brakes on. They're going to stop something from happening. They are. Somebody's going to stop something from happening. I mean, the, the chariot, chariot reverse is stop. This is lack of control. Emotions all over. This is a disaster ahead. It is. We have somebody that is angry. They can't master their emotions. They're angry. And they are going to, they're going to try to stop something from happening. I feel as though emotions are definitely going to be all over the place. I because this is scattered emotions, emotions all over the place, lack of discipline, things being out of control, battle. There's going to be some sort of battle. I feel this you know emotions are going to be all over the place. Put it that way. Um We have a very, very cocky individual here who uh, is on a mission, and it has to do with freedom, because this some is it has to do with freedom. They're on because this is freedom as well. It has to do with freedom. So I feel like this day. We have the end of a contract. We also have, we have somebody that is angry. We also have somebody that is angry. There, there could be some tears that are shed. I'm just being honest with you. If this is an emotional outburst, a disaster ahead. You know, um, stopping somebody. Trying to stop somebody from starting something. You know, because this is starting a new journey. Somebody, we have somebody who's going to try to stop somebody from doing something. Okay? They're going to try to stop somebody from doing something. This is the end of a contract not coming together. Get prepared for a conflict on this day. 
There's definitely going to be a conflict. And her emotions are going to be all over the place. There's probably going to be a sudden departure. It's not meant to be. You're not meant to be confined. You're not meant to be restricted. You're meant to be free. To go wherever you want. Something's going to come to a dead stop. Have faith. Faith is needed during this time. Faith is needed. Anyhow, so yeah, the, the main message I have is that there is going to be a loss <laughs> with that death card. But this loss leads to a new beginning. There is somebody else involved that has no fear. This person is absolutely fearless and they don't care about the consequences. They do not care about the consequences. They are on a mission. Good luck.